Hey folks, Lord Thunder Monkey again with you, looking at another mod review. This time we're looking at the Straw Master 120. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, give me a thumbs down. If you really liked it though, subscribe, follow along, check out the rest of my Let's Plays, as well as my mod reviews. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is I can make a whole lot better, or what can I can give me screw up even more for you guys. But thank you guys for watching. A big shout out to the modders. Thank you guys. Since I'm not a modder myself and can't do it and can't add this stuff the way I'd like. Thank you for putting this stuff in there. Because this continues to make our game new and exciting. And makes it familiar with our surroundings. Especially when you add specific brands or things that we don't have in the vanilla base game. Because I think the game would actually get a little bit boring and, and old and drab after a while. If it wasn't for the mods continuously changing our gameplay. So thank you very much. I'm going to be critical of your mods when I take a look at it. Just because I like to have really good looking stuff in my Let's Plays. And also like everybody who's watching these videos to know what it is they're adding to the gameplay and how it's going to affect them. So let's check it out in the shop. This is listed under Cultivators. Um, it took me a while to figure that out. I actually had to go back to the webpage because I was, I, I was thinking Wind Roar and things like that. Um, and it's clearly listed on, uh, on the Mod Hub page as a uh, uh, category cultivator. So if we take a look at this guy here, it's the Daigleman Straw Master. It's going to cost you $134,000. You know what? That's $134,000 between friends. Um, it, though it's going to cost you $45 a day past that, but it runs 36 meters wide. So it's big, really big. I, you know, I'm not even sure. That might be the biggest thing on the, on the game. It needs 550 horsepower to run, so you're going to need a good size tractor to run this guy so let's just see I'm curious as far as you know stocking game stuff you can get some mods that are obviously bigger than that but this one here 12 12.2 on that horse DLCs uh, that, that came out which isn't stock in-game stuff traditionally and those are obviously smaller in this this guy here 24 meters so this is the biggest one currently that flexi coil is huge right and this is 18, that's 24. This thing's claiming to be 36 meters wide. I can't wait to see it. But first, let's get ridiculous. Now, mind you, when I look at these things, I get in there and I look at it. If anybody farms or looks at their implements like this while they're playing, they're probably looking at it specifically for something and not the actual gameplay. So, please forgive me. But the hitch... I mean, I gotta really get up there close and personal to really tell that it's got flat sides on it. Otherwise, it's pretty nice round looking. Probably should have a bolt or something going through there if we're getting technical and picky. Uh, the the creators though, they have the nice decals on them, reflectors there. I like this. Um, I'm sure this is is particular to the machine, but the way the pedestal sits there at that angle, get a nice bolt here and. Looks like that hydraulic comes down when those swing out and it locks in there. We're checking this all out as we get into it here. The plates that are welded on. It would be really cool if they had like weld weld joints right there. And they actually showed you weld. That would be really spectacular. But you got bolts running through there. It's obviously a brand new she machine. These wheels are beautiful looking. Perfect. The hydraulics are nice and shiny. The tines look good. Overall, oh, I'm right up into it got a bit of collision missing on the back side here right here in the in this section here I run into the wheels and I get stuck there in fact I'm stuck inside the machine so there's a collision missing somewhere in there not the end of the world mind you the collisions missing on the back end in parts here on this inner you know it's it's you know what it is here it's this guy here this bar here this outside has a collision this though seems to be missing it See, I can run square into it. This, I run into and I hit my head. Nice reflectors and, and lights on the back. The slow moving vehicle sign. I like it. I really do. I can't wait to test this guy out. If only I have a tractor. 550 horsepower. Oh, I get a stock tractor like that. What am I saying? I always like to have a stock in-game tractor so that we can tell the difference between what the tractor is doing and what the mod is doing. So let's go... Let's go with this guy. 550 horsepower, check. Twin wheels, triple wheels. Let's go wheel waste. Let's make this thing look silly. Sorry, did I say that? 
I couldn't help myself. All right. So yeah, this 435 horsepower tractor, which is enormous, is not enough. That does look silly, but it's gonna it's gonna pull it. It's got the power to. This thing is huge. Now I, since I was the straw master, I decided to take a field and I ripped down all the. I don't remember if it was wheat or barley here. Hang on. That guy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure to be picky that this hydraulic here should be connected so that when the hitch is up, that hydraulic actually pulls this this hitch up because you can see it actually does that. There's just its starting point is off. So enough of that, sorry. Just being, you know, really critical of it. And so I ripped down almost the entire field. I think this thing might be too big for the field. <laughs> and love how it shifts and pivots. Those run independently so that uh, it doesn't bind up going around the corners. Well, let's go ahead. Let's open it up. All right. We have any special features? Whoop. Lower, unfold, higher. All right. So let's unfold it. I like how it doesn't go smoothly. How it kind of jerks out, which, to be quite honest, would be realistic. See, that thing's huge. Absolutely huge. Let's take a look at it. Give it that. Ah! Oh, que magnifique! Or in English we say, I really like it. All the hydraulics that come down here and control everything, you can see it's this bar here that doesn't have the collision. Not the end of the world because for the most part, you're, if you get anything up into it that far, you've really screwed up your equipment. So let's let's fold this back up here real quick. And I want to watch this unfold. We're going to hop out and watch it unfold once I get it folded back up. It does one side and then the other completely. Nope. Fantastic. All right. So let's hop out here. See everything moving. It's going to lock in here. The hydraulic comes down and locks that bar. Very nice. Very, very nice. So let's lower it. They drop right on down. Now it's a harrow. So it's uh, it's a very, it's, it's a topsoiler basically. It's not going to go super deep. So if you needed something super deep, you know, or, or, or to really dig into the soil, this is not the guy for you, but still in the game, the game doesn't differentiate. So I don't even know if I can get this in the... Well, there we go. Barely get it in. Almost takes up this whole dead gum field. Now I've lowered to the ground, obviously. So we are going to take the hired help. Oh, no, we're going to hire it because hired help doesn't go. But boom! There we go. Ripping it out. That is fantastic. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get this field done in a hurry. Good night. The... I love the dirt on it. I mean, it's really kicking up the dirt. And it would with all those harrows, those different rows. It's different times. You can see Chop Straw Mods actually working real well. So we're going to stop that here real quick. We're going to verify our width here. I'm going to go auto width. And we're sitting at 36.8 meters wide. As you can see, that's running right to the edge of its right. You know, so it's almost 37 meters wide. So you have got a beast of a machine. And at 100, only $135,000, yeah. Um, if you're looking to knock out some of those bigger fields, like if you're on I mean, something you're playing realistically like over there on a 16 times the Australia map that's out there, whatever, <laughs> you're going to die for this thing if you're trying to do it realistically and have something like this. But, you know, can you tell I'm kind of really liking this mod. So if you guys like this mod yourselves, add it to your game. Don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends. Perhaps they'll all need a machine like this. Perhaps they'll like these videos and subscribe. That would be awesome. But thank you guys for watching. I'm Lord Thunder Monkey, and I'll see you next time.